Hello everyone, how do we represent the specific hypothesis and the general hypothesis in the concept learning here using some notations. Here you look at that uh, instant space x is given. Uh, so here we will uh, take some hypothesis. Always hypothesis will be uh, represented by using the Boolean valued functions over the instant space capital X. Here for any instance X in the capital X and also any hypothesis H over the hypothesis space capital H, we can say if any example satisfies the hypothesis space H if and only if H of X equal to 1. If it is the case, then we can represent by using some notations HJ. HJ is more general than HK. So that means we are using more general than HK. So here in the previous uh, video, we have seen here the H2 is satisfies both training examples X1 and X2 because the sun is only the value here specific value given in the H2 remaining all are question symbols so it will accept any value any different values in the attributes so, so here you look at that these two attributes are having two different values but due to general cons constraint question symbol it will accept both uh, I mean uh, any values so this is more general than H1 H1 here it is having the strong uh, in the uh, fourth attribute so due to that fourth attribute strong it will not satisfy the second example so here it cannot classify the second example so h1 is uh, uh, classifying only the single example x1 but uh, h2 is classifying the x1 and the x2 so due to this reason the h2 is more general than h1 so we can represent this h2 is more general than h1 so that is the notation we have used here the hj is uh, uh, more general than hk and one more uh, thing is more general than or equal to when set of training examples satisfy the two hypotheses hj and hk then hj is more general than or equal to hj uh, notation more general than or equal to hk if and only if any instance x that satisfies hk and also hj that means suppose if you are having one more hypothesis h3 okay one more hypothesis h3 here we are having like this so this is uh, uh, sunny and the second one is warm and remaining all are question symbols remaining all are question symbols so if it is the hypothesis now you look at that um, it is satisfying both examples sunny here here also sunny the, the second example also sunny here it is warm it is also warm here it is also warm then remaining all are general constraints so it will accept all the values in these four attributes so here h2 is greater than that means more general than or equal to h3 okay so this is the this is the notation we can use here if the uh, two two hypotheses are satisfy all the examples given in the instance space x that's what given here so when it will be satisfied both are uh, making that uh, uh, example says here true examples so this is h of k that first sample first hypothesis value also true and second hypothesis value also true so here both hypotheses are satisfying the uh, target concept uh, c of x over the all training examples so this is the way to specify the hypothesis representation for general to specific ordering thanks for watching